What's going on guys? Mr. Techbot. I've got another BAM box horror. Let's see what kind of frights we get in today. Plus, stay tuned because we have another great giveaway going on with two other awesome YouTubers. Let's check it out. What's going on everybody? I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day and everyone out there is staying safe. Now, again, we have Bandbox Horror for you. You know I enjoy these. I've been learning a lot from them because as much of a horror fan as I am, or at least I thought I was, <laughs> you know, I've learned a lot about it because there's a lot of things that I found in these boxes that I can't remember for anywhere else. But I'm gonna give you guys a heads up. I might be a little bit behind because this is actually my Bandbox from July. Uh, I believe actually I just got a notification that my August band box just showed up in the mail, which they were really quick with them this month. But this is my July band box. I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay. We'll get caught up. Always looking forward to see if we get some cool level ups and what kind of signatures we get. Cause those are always the big hot items in these boxes. Now also remember, stay tuned. Uh, I'm doing another great giveaway with two other channels. So you're going to want to see what the giveaway is and how you can get entered in as well as you're gonna have to go check out these other two channels to find out what they're giving away and how we're all coming together on a live stream this saturday uh august 15th so stay tuned for that don't forget if you do like this channel and you want to see more hit that subscribe button along with those post notifications so we get notified of all the most recent videos and live streams that i do post up also go ahead and smash that like button as well as leave a comment because that always helps me out with that youtube algorithm all right so band box horror you know i love these things um i've also like i said i've, I've also recently started getting the band box uh geek which used to be the band box pop culture i think so i do have my july one in and i'll probably do that coming up soon i might even have to do three videos in a week just to kind of get caught up but we'll see stay tuned for that one Band box horror. Let's see what we have. I always like these too because it's always fun to see if you get a level up. You know, if, if you guys don't know, with band box they have a level up, and you'll get a card inside the box to tell you if you got one. Now it could be, I've got a couple level up pins. Uh, I think I've gotten one level up um, artwork piece. Um, so it's kind of cool. And these are level ups are kind of a rare item. It's not part of the main bulk of of the items. So it's always pretty cool to, to get one when you when you know all right so let's start with their pin first hopefully i have it up right who do we have so we got a truck now this could be one of two things from you know it's got the swirly piece on on the front so that could i mean my initial thought is it comes from uh something of maybe saw because they've always got the swirly item on stuff but I don't ever remember a truck being there, but it's possible. The other thing is I know that there was a truck. It was one of the very first BAM horrors I got. Um, I got this image of a dude in a truck and it was from Jeepers Creepers. I ended up finding out later on. I didn't know who it was at first. So maybe, and it's kind of an older looking truck. So maybe there's something there too. Not quite sure, um, but at the end, we'll go ahead and bring up the sheet that explains what everything is. And we'll definitely find out then. But I mean, truck with a little swirling piece on it. I mean, not bad, kind of cool. Let's see what else we got. We'll set him right there. In band box, you typically get a couple different items. You usually get a pin. Um, you usually get like a little card thing, an artist card, uh, some sort of movie prop, and also, you know, a couple of signed items. So I think this is the card. So let's see what we have this month. So we got Jason Voorhees. So this is actually gonna match my card from last month. Uh, which I had um, uh, Freddy Krueger on the other side. So th this is going to be, because I know, I remember it, because that's a perfect uh, slash right there. So if you put that card right here next to each other, they'll match up. And that's what I think is great sometimes with these cool artist cards, is they take basically an artist's picture, and they almost cut them into squares and make a card out of it. So it's kind of nice when you get all the, the cards together, and you can kind of make the cool picture 
out of it but that's definitely a really cool card looks like i'm back of course you always got the signature of the artist on there now the ones on the cards aren't actual signatures they're printed signatures but it's still a cool artist select card as you get doubt jason Voorhees, always a great classic slasher uh character so always find them in the hockey mask that what made the hockey mask so scary that they they used to use these types of hockey masks in hockey back in the day for goalies and then they of course switched up to what they have now but i mean that jason just made that that mask look so scary so let's see what we got next all right got some sort of card so looks like oh there we go we got a level up so you've been leveled up one of the items in this box is a variant uh, this means there are fewer made than the regular item. So I don't know what it is yet, and I usually never know until I actually go onto this, the, the sheet, and it'll tell me which one the variant is. So definitely cool. So we know we do have a level up. So what else we got on here? Another car, which usually is the... Okay, we have our BAM. Now, BAM also always has in every box, they always put this little match three giveaway. Never match three. I've, I don't think I've ever matched two, but uh, hey, you never know. So let's see what we got today. We got a band box. Hey, actually, this is the first time I think I've ever got matched two. Ah, they got me. All right, that's all right. Hey, that's the first time I think I've ever matched two. But you can see you got two band boxes and it looks like one Echo device. So I didn't win this month. But that's all right. I get, I get two a month. So who knows? We'll keep trying. So I don't see, any, I don't feel any, oh, maybe this is the prop. Okay, this is definitely not a picture. So let's see what this is. Hopefully I got this up right. No. Okay. I, fried chicken and gasoline. Huh. This, I mean, it, it, it's a, the metal, it's a metal sign. This is a prop item. So they always put some sort of movie prop in all these, these items. Now I think all but one, uh, there's one that I definitely could tell where it was coming from, which was the uh, uh, the Watch Me videotape. I knew that was from the ring. Uh, but like when I got the, the sheriff's badge, I didn't know where that came from. I learned that it came from The Walking Dead. But this one, not sure. Fried chicken gasoline. I mean, seems like a typical slasher sign. You know, you want to count, have people come by, stop on their travels, and then slash them and kill them. Why not? I mean, that sounds like a great flick. But we're going to find out. So let's keep moving on. What do we have? Hopefully I'm holding it right side up. Nope, it's that way. Say my name with a B oh I think I know who this is but I cannot remember the name of it and I don't think it's Jeepers Creepers I can't remember who the, the guy is but I, I mean let's just look at, at what it is I mean the this is more of an artwork piece and that is some great artwork. I love the detail on the bee. You even got the nice detail on the fur. And then of course the eye, eyeball as well with the, the figure in the background. So that is pretty awesome. I uh, love that. You've got the uh, signature in the corner. I know that it looks like it's Hal, Hal something. And, and, and that, I'd like to say that signature looks very familiar. Um, pretty sure I've gotten something from him before. I think he's, he's the main artist, which is probably the artist who made this item. Um, so this isn't going to be one of those items where it's, it's the actual character, which I'm probably going to guess is going to be the next one. This is more of the artist who, who drew this. And I just think that's an awesome drawing. That is absolutely awesome. I love it. I cannot remember where it came from, but we're going to find out. All right, let's see what we got next. So hopefully I'm holding this right side up. Oh, okay, let me hold it right. There we go. So this is there's this is different on a couple different levels. So this is sleepaway camp. Now I'm actually my guess in this is this is going to be my level up, and I'm going to explain to you why I think this is my level up. Now this is of course Angela something because I can read Angela right here. 
sleepaway camp. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this looks like it is something from um, Jason movies because it has to do with camp, um, the water, stuff like that. So I'm going to guess this is from the uh, Jason movies. But, I mean, that's just real cool it's right there with the blood splatter on the moon, uh, the image. So I'm pretty sure that's where this is from. And why I think this is probably my level up is you can tell right there. And also on the back, this is a Beckett certified. So not just a BAM certified, but this is a Beckett certified of authority. Now Beckett, of course, is one of the uh, leading authorities in uh, signature certifications. So that is definitely cool. I like that a lot. And that's th that's why I'm going to guess this has got to be my, my level up item. So man, see, again, I other than knowing Jason Voorhees, this entire box, I'm just... I'm in the dark. I have no idea. And that's why I've actually been enjoying these because I've been learning a lot about, you know, some of the different items or even detailed uh, from these, these movies that I didn't know before. All right. So let's look at one last thing in this box. It is empty. Okay, cool. They're doing it now, this way now. now I'm going to try to still pull it up on the screen so that way I can show it to you guys and you guys can see it a little closer. But, uh, you know, in the past, I guess they used to put the the insert cards to tell you what, what's inside the box, inside the box. But it, I guess in the past, because maybe I'm trying to get the boxes out or something, they just put it all online. So I've been showing you the online one. Now, they looks like this month they still have online, but this is like the last one. So I don't know if they're done doing this after this one. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out in future stuff. But so this is going to be Bandbox Horror. Volume 5, Box 6. Now, might have actually got a couple level ups. Like, actually, it looks like I've got two level ups in this, which is definitely kind of cool. Let's go with the small stuff first. So, it looks like my pin is a leveled up, and this is from what I was originally thinking. The pin is actually from Saw. This is from the new Saw that, that's, I guess, coming out, or I, I don't know. I can't remember what the name of it is, uh, but it says Fan Art Pin. We're super excited for the 2021 when the film Saw Spiral is anticipated to be released starring Chris Rock. Get your hands on all the Chris Rock pins and two variants now. So there are two variants. Now the original pin has Chris, basically almost like an image of Chris Rock holding the saw. Um, this is one of the variants, which is the truck, which I'm assuming is in the movie somewhere. And there's another one I'm guessing looks like somebody with a bunch of spirals. All right, the card looks like this is the standard artist card. This is from Mark Melton. That is going to be the same one that did the Freddy Krueger one, so that does go attached to there. It says Mark Melton finishes up this set with one of the most iconic horror characters ever. Jason, keep your eyes out for all the variants as well. So we know we got to level up. So I got to find out what this sign is from. So the prop replica, it says, check out this fried chicken gasoline prop. From the film House of a Thousand Corpses. Okay, yes, now I remember it. Um, I just I couldn't put my my finger on it when I saw it, but yes, okay. And now I remember this is from House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, more of a gore factor movie, to be honest with you, but you know, great movie. But yes, okay, that makes sense now. Now a lot of the a lot of the prop stuff. Now a lot of these things that I get in band boxes, I actually typically give away. For some reason I like I love the movie props. I, I do keep those. And uh, to me, they're just great talking points and things to put up and have people, you know, figure out where I got it from. So let's move on to the fan art print. Now, this is definitely a different print because the original one looked kind of upside down. It was almost, maybe that was how it was supposed to be. Yeah, so it looks like I did, this is one of the level ups. I said, I, it looks like I got two level ups. One was the pin and one was this one. And the only reason I could tell is because on the regular one, it's upside down and it doesn't say, say my name. So that's why it's got to be one of these ones down bottom. I'm going to guess it's the one that shows more of the color of the B. But that's cool. So it says, keep an eye out for this awesome candy. That, that's what it was. I knew I had my, I had it on the tip of my tongue. Candyman. That's right. The B's. Uh, Candyman print and two variants. Careful. Uh, didn't say his name two more times. That's right, Candyman. How could I forget? He's awesome. Uh, great movie. Uh, great actor that played him, too. I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, fantastic movie. Now, as far as our celebrity autograph goes, 
this wasn't. This is what I thought was a level up, but it's not. Maybe they're just starting to get their autographs from Beckett now, which is definitely cool because that's a great uh, uh, authorizer of um, signatures. So we got the celebrity autograph from one of the many cult classic horror films of the 1980s. We present Felicia Rose from the film Sleepaway Camp. So I guess it's not a Jason flick. I, I assumed it with the. Um, yeah, maybe they were just doing a play off of it, but I've never seen Sleepaway Camp. Uh, maybe it's a movie I'm going to have to look up and watch and take a look at. But So this is uh, the Felicia Rose signature. I'm going to guess her character in there was Angela. So definitely cool. Something to check out. Um, but that's it. That's another great box. Volume 5, box 6. Great band box. Always enjoy these. Something a little different. Uh, you know, something different from doing Funkos all the time. So awesome awesome box all right guys now we have this giveaway that we got going on now first i'm going to show you what i am going to be giving away on this channel and then i'm going to give you the details about everything else so what i have is from my most recent marvel's collector core we have our mystique pop which is really cool because it was mystique kind of morphing into wolverine um i thought it was really cool and uh, i was thinking of keeping it but you know what i want to give it out to you guys because you guys are awesome so I want to give it out to you guys. And worst comes worst, if I really want it, I can go hunt it again. No big deal. So we're going to go for the Mystique. Now, if you want to get entered into this Mystique giveaway, I am doing this giveaway with two other channels. And that's going to be my partner in crime, Wayne Co. Studios, and also the Dead Skeleton Show. The guy is awesome, very funny, all kinds of different characters. It's a ton of fun. First, what you need to do is go ahead, of course, and subscribe and like, as well as leave a comment on this video alone with hashtag unleash your inner nerd. Also in the description down below, I put a video for Wayne Co. and I put a video for the dead skeleton. Go to those videos, subscribe, like, and leave a comment, unleash your inner nerd. Okay, that's it, pretty simple. Uh, when we do these, we're gonna do like a, a, a three fur type giveaway where we're gonna pick names from each video and then those people are gonna go into a wheel to win this prize. We're gonna do the same thing for Winko and Dead Skeletons. So definitely, they're gonna be dropping their videos today. So go ahead and check theirs out too, because they have other Funkos that they're giving away. I'm not sure what they're giving away, but go ahead and check theirs out, and they're gonna tell you to all of a sudden do the same thing. So we're gonna give all three of these Funkos away on Saturday, this Saturday, August 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come check us out, come have some fun. Um, of course, you know, Wayne and I, we just like to have fun and Dead Skeleton brings everything to a whole nother level because the guy, guy is awesome. And hopefully maybe he'll bring along some of his characters. But again, come check us out August 15th, this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check that out, get entered, win some Funko Pop. Don't forget, if you want to get yourself a shout out in one of these videos, grab yourself one of these Mr. TechBot t-shirts at teespring.com backslash stores backslash Mr. Dash TechBot. Send me an image and I will give you a shout out in one of the videos as well as Instagram. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for taking the time out for watching these videos and following me on this YouTube journey. So lastly, do what you like, do what you love, and always... Unleash your internet, guys. Take it easy. Later.